Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. There's something very moving about the last words of the man. Family gathers round and listens for the last words of a loved one. There are some books that have been written that describe the last words of men as they died. It is a very moving thing. There have been some men who were quite brazen and bold in their arguments against God until they came to meet him. Like the man I talked to who said, I'm not afraid of God. And I said, well, I'm not afraid of Bengal tigers either, as long as they're in India. A man doesn't have to be afraid of God until he meets him. But oh, the terror of men dropping off into a lost eternity with no hope and no God. But listen to the words of the Lord Jesus. He does not say, Father, curse them, but forgive them. The phrase here is in the continuous tense. We might translate it, He kept on saying, Father, forgive them. There are some people who would like God to forgive them, but they aren't willing to confess their sins. You cannot expect a God in heaven to be a God worth believing in if he just shuts his eyes and pretends you never sinned. Would you care just for a moment to try and calculate how many sins you have committed against God? Have you committed one sin a day? Two, three sins a day, three sins a day would make about a thousand a year, wouldn't it? And if you've lived 20 or 30 years, can you imagine being held to account for 30,000 crimes against the sovereign of the universe? Evil thoughts, and God knows every one of them. If you're going to be forgiven, you see, you have to agree with God about the problem, that you're a sinner. As they drove those spikes through his hands and feet, he said, Father, forgive them. I wish you could hear that on your soul today. There is forgiveness with God, says the Bible. 